Hi everybody, it's Bonkai922, and this is going to be review Fairy Tale Chapter 267. But before we get into that, I just want to mention what I was doing today and what's coming up. I got Redline. So, pretty much everything as far as anime is concerned on Blu-ray, as far as I'm concerned, that I wanted to get, I've gotten. Star Driver Part 2. The World God Only Knows. And now Redline. But that unboxing will come later. Right now, it's time for, like I just said, Fairy Tale Chapter 267 Review. The New Guild. I'll call it something different to review. Let's get into it. Okay. Um, basically, we have the entrance, the beginning of the chapter where you get the whole shing bang kaboom of balloons are coming out and it's the grand tournament. It's like, duh. They even have, you know what was weird about this chapter in the very beginning? They have commentators. This is like, what, a uh, sports event? Weird. That, that, that got me weird. And one of the commentators is the guy who was the former person on the Magic Council. He's there along with this other guy. And along with them is a new member of Blue Pegasus, a female. But I don't know who, who he's, I, heard, I forgot her name. That's the funny thing about it. I couldn't find, remember her name. So that's what's going on, and as that's going on, we get the introduction of Fairy Tale. Everybody's in the back, and they're all got these matching outfits, and Urs is telling them, oh, you know, Master Makarov thought he said it would be nice because it would be like a team thing. It's actually kind of cute. And then Lucy says, you can't say that for a person not wearing any clothes. Say that when you're wearing it. <laughs> but anyway, and this is far with, with, with uh, Elfman and... Uh, for us and everything. But anyway, moving on. So they're going out there, but before they go out there, there's the scene with Wendy. They found Wendy. She was hurt, and so was Char Charlotte. Charlotte. Um, they were hurt, and they asked Polynustica, you know, the one who's grenadine, the human grenadine, to come in. <clears throat> she says she's going to help her, and then Elfman obviously is going to take her place. So, that's what happened. They found her. She doesn't remember what occurred as far as the attack is concerned. And you find out who is responsible for that attack later on. But let's get into more. Um, so, they go out there and they're getting booed. And like, oh my God! And Lucy's like, well, they're booing us? And then uh, Lu Lucy's like down about it. And she's uh, and Lurz is telling her, oh, stay, stay cool. Stay cool. Don't, don't uh, stress it. So... While that's going on, you see the the section for fairy tale, the fairy tale members who are rooting on them on, and you got Makarov, everybody, and then everybody looks to the to the um right, I believe it's the right, and goes to sitting there, Mavis, Mavis McMillian, the original the original leader, uh, original um, uh, oh shit, I'm trying to figure. Master of fairy tale. She's there. And she's like, oh, only people with the. She's saying that everyone, only, only people with their um, with from fairy tale can see her. So that's the story there. So they start name. Basically, what's going on? They start naming guilds, the guilds from seven to number one. Number seven, Cerberus. Cerberus, which I think never seen them. You never seen this guild. Go, uh, master Goldmine, he was the guild master. The only time you saw him in this entire show was the very beginning. I'm like, wow, oh, yeah. so long ago. So they're number seven. Number six, I forgot the name of the guild. I think it's Mermaid something. All female wizards, all female witches, you know, mages, all female. And I think it was Droid and Jet. They're like, ah! they got those hearts in their eyes. And it was like, they can't believe it. So that was their number. Uh, Cerberus was number seven. They were number six. Number five was. I'm trying to figure this. I, I, I'm trying to figure this out if I'm, I'm getting this correct. I believe number five that came out, the number five guild that came out was. Uh, was Blue Pegasus. If not, it's... It, it, whatever which. 
Hence, number five and number four were Blue Pegasus and Macrima. You know, Leon and so on and so forth. And there's this scene with Leon and then Grace like, remember our bet, Gray? If I win, I get to take Julia to, the, to our guild. And he's like, yeah, whatever. I was going to win anyway. <laughs> he was like joking around. So other guilds are coming out. So they're up to, they just did, um, okay, seven, six, five, four. Then they say number three, Raventail. And I actually am, I'm actually, you know what was surprising? Was Mark Ruff's expression. He was really like, oh my god, how can they do this? You know? Because it was like, they're a dark guild. But then, the guy who's the former, the commentator who's the former member of the Magic King, uh, Magic Council, he said they've been recognized as a guild. And Mark Ruff, he just can't stand it. And there's a little confrontation. There's a little confrontation between Fairy Tail and Raven Tail. And that's when the beans are spilled. I don't know who said, I think it was that little creature. The little, there's this little creature on top of one of the, of, of the main members of, of Raventail. And they say something about, about the little, about the girl, you know, having like a, like a welcome in. And then they realize that obviously it was Raventail that attacked Wendy. So now it's already been set, and you already you get a good good picture. Of I forgot I forgot his name. Oh Ivan, I believe that's his name. Ivan, Avon, Ivan. You get a good picture of Ivan, looking evil and shit. And it's oh man, it's already done. It's already set. But then they're about to announce the new the other guilds because there's two more. One we already know is Sabretooth, but there's another one. So that and that's what we're waiting for. And that's how the chapter ends. Um, pros. Big pro hero for Raventail. I will, I, I'm telling this right now. I don't know who, which guild, I don't know which one I hate the more. I don't know which one was more evil. I mean, Sabretooth is not an evil guild. They're not a dark guild. It's just, the thing that Rogue and Sting did pissed off Natsu. Great deal. But I think Raventail is... is They are being the villains here. They are really trying to be the, the villains in this. But we don't know yet. See, that's the thing. It's not... You know? I like where this is going. I really do. I, I think this is going... And based on that note, I want to bring up something. Okay. This is just just basically staying it out if people want me to do this. If you guys have any any topic you want me to talk about about fairy tale, put it in the comments below of this review. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing that. This uh, an open an open conversation in which I just talk about things about fairy tale. About where we are, where we are right now in Fairy Tale. So, but that's how it ended. So the pro for this this arc, this chapter was definitely Raven Tail. Um, definitely Raven Tail. Big time confrontation with them. Oh my God, I can definitely see a lot of things happening here with Raven Tail. Um, anything else? Really, nothing. It was pretty, uh, pretty not you know, kind of strange chapter. I mean. That I was probably the only pro, and it was so-so, you know, uh... And really, what was going on was just announcing the kills. That's all they were doing. Hero wasn't really... And it was funny, on the side of each page, it showed of the author's thoughts. It said, what Hero did, he said, um, he was so busy that he didn't have time to celebrate New Year's or something. But anyway, that's what has occurred. So, we can gather that whoever this number two guild is that finished the preliminaries behind Sabretooth, they're probably the guild that Jiral, Jiao warned Urza about. Or it might be Raventail. We don't know. 
but I like what's going on here. You already got two guilds gunning for Natsu. I mean, if you count in Sabretooth with Rogue and Sting, you count them in, and now you got Raventail. This is turning out, let me tell you something, Fairy Tail is getting really good. A lot of people were pissed off about the seven time year skip, the seven, seven year time skip. But you know what? I like what I see. I like this, this, this big, heavy confrontation between Raventail and Fairy Tail, and now Natsu against these two new Dragon Slayers. I'm telling you right now, things are heating up with Fairy Tail. Getting really good. Really good. All right, so that's the story. Three and a half out of five. It was okay. Um, the big time was the confrontation with Fairy Tail and Raven Tail. That was the confrontation you wanted to look. And I even read, he looks so evil. Oh my God, it's so upsetting. No, the masters can't fight. Ivan against Bakarov. Holy shit, that would have been like epic. But we'll see how this goes. We'll see how it goes. I I want to see Raven Tail Fairy Tail duke it out. Though I would like to see you, you know. Rogue and Stink go out of Natsu. We'll see how that transpires. So, good chapter. And see you guys later.